We didn't talk to one another. I think that if we did, we'd both begin to cry again. She helped me out of my school clothes, changed my diaper once again and then helped me into my pajamas. Without being asked or told to do so, I went over to my bed pulled down the covers and climbed in. Mom sat on the side and petted my head until I fell asleep. Grandfather, after returning home had taken a shower, put on a fresh set of clothes and left again. He didn't return until breakfast time the following morning. Grandmother, Mom, and I had been sitting at the table in silence. Two fried eggs, a strip of bacon, and a half slice of buttered toast lay on a plate before me. They had long since gone cold. There was no sound at all, but the clinking of my fork as I stabbed at the gelatinous yolks.